And therefore I want to say to William Ruto to really come out of the lie that he can help young people when he has been in leadership for the last nearly 30 years, yet after so many years, the only thing that he can show that he can do is to use the money that he has either sold land or sold maize or sold sugar or sold rice or sold this or people's land and then start buying our children wheelbarrows and mikokoteni. If he has got to do that kind of a thing for our children, let him first of all serve the same to his children. Then we can understand his language. But for me, my language is to empower our young people in a very meaningful way. And behind me you can see the meaningful way of empowering young people. Give them skills, show them the market, and the market is available. You see the opportunities, them as people, you see the resources, what you have seen here, and our young people will be able to prosper and they will have a sustainable livelihood. With all what he has and the networks that he has, I would have expected William Ruto to be starting many, many viwandas, many, many uh, industries in this country and they're connecting us with international markets, connecting young people. They can make very beautiful garments, apparel in the world. He can start it in Eldoret, he can start it in Mombasa, he can start it in Kitui, Machakos, anywhere. And these young people will have skills. And therefore I want to say to Kenyans, let us not be given this lie by this person. He can finish this country with a stroke of a pen if he was to occupy any office. So everybody must do everything to make sure that this person is unmasked. That lie must be unmasked.